So you're in some very classic movies that a lot of people have on their favorites list. Uh, what do you think? What do you uh, think about when you think back to those films? Well, um, I. Aliens was my first film ever, so I was, you know, overwhelmed, I was scared, I was excited, so... And speaking of that, you play a Latina very, very well. I was, I was fooled, I thought you were Latina, until I found out that you weren't. So what kind of uh, practice did you do to, to become <laughs> the, the tough Latina? Well, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm a character actress, I don't play myself. So I do research background, worked on accents for every character I play, whether they're a Latina or whether they're Irish or, you know, every uh, character is different. So mm -hmm. the character was from, was from the barrio of, of Los Angeles. So, yeah, and I grew up in Los Angeles, not in the barrio, but so I was very specific, you know, a chola from, from <laughs> well, you know, El Sorreno, you know, Boyle Heights, no, but yeah. What is your experience like on the movie like Near Dark, which is a favorite for among a lot of people? No, Near Dark was great. Um, I mean, Catherine Bigelow, incredibly talented. I mean, it was her first solo outing as a director. And, you know, I got to work with the guys, Bill Paxson and Lance Hendrickson. And we'd already had this relationship from working for four months, and then we became friends afterwards. And so it was, you know, it was great. You had that sort of strong bond already going into it. And we're here at Monster Palooza, and Lance Henriksen was here. What was it like seeing him again? Oh, Lance is so great. I, I, I see him, you know, at, when I do conventions, and he's there, and oh, he's a great guy. And a lot of your other co-stars are here today, My, Michael Bean and, and a lot of other co-stars. How is it reminiscing with them? Uh, it's great. I, you know, I, it's one of the great things about the conventions is that you get, if you don't see them socially, you get to see them, you know, at conventions, and you get to kind of touch base with people. You get to meet actors you've never got, you know, that I'm a fan of, and I can go over there and kind of geek out on them. And do you still keep in touch with James Cameron since you were in a lot of his films? I do. I haven't seen him for a while. I mean, he spends a lot of time in New Zealand, and he's making because he's making um, Avatar. I guess he's doing like three or four or five of them back to back or something like that. So yeah. So what is your fondest memory of shooting on Aliens? Fondest memory? Oh my god, let me see. Um, fondest memory, I don't know, I remember I was cold a lot, even though we were supposed to be hot. We were supposed to be, you know, so they had to kind of like, you know, make us look sweaty so they would spray us with a lot of water, cold water, so we were cold but trying to think hot. And um, I don't know, I was, it was really an amazing shoot. I was exhausted and scared, I mean it was, exactly like being in a war so and I heard you telling somebody that the gun you wear was actually strapped onto you can you explain that that was that was heavy the gun yeah the gun is heavy was heavy it was like 70 90 pounds but it was it was strapped on a steady cam unit a steady cam, and so you wear it with the, the rig and the arm that keeps it it takes most of the weight but you have to know how to how to use it so yeah it was it was definitely it was definitely a, a difficult thing but it looked cool, so who cares? And there were some people here today dressed up as your character. How cool, how cool was that, seeing that? They were great. I mean, there's always people dressed up, but they were really, really, really good. Do you get a lot of Latino fans about, from that role? You know, I do. I get, I get, it's amazing. I get Latino fans. I, I mean, it's all over the board. I get army, you know, I get gay men, gay women, little girls, little boys. But, you know, it's like incredible. And now you run a, a, a bra shop. Here in LA. Can you tell us a bit, little bit about it? Sure. I, I am the owner of Jeanette Bras. Uh, the slogan is the alphabet starts at D. And I have, we have uh, two shops in Los Angeles. Well, one in Los Angeles, one in uh, Old Pasadena. And uh, yeah, do bra fitting and uh, European bras for the busty lady.